So uh, again, this is a feature focus uh, webinar uh, and our focus today is on associations using DVR Examiner 3. And I hope uh, by now that you've all had a chance to, um, to install, download and install and use DVR Examiner 3. Uh, if not, this will be a little bit of a learning curve for you, uh, but it's not difficult at all. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Uh, for those of you that uh, have used DVR Examiner 3 before, uh, when you start it, this is the start screen that pops up. And uh, from here, you can choose to scan an image file or a hard drive, or you can immediately go to the home screen uh, and begin building your case there. So just want to let you guys know that um, associations uh, are great, but they're not necessary to scan your data and get your uh, evidence off of the hard drive. Uh, associations are here to help you guys manage your data uh, to uh, to build an entire case file. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and click create new case and this is going to open up the DVR examiner home screen. Hopefully you're familiar with that. If not, a quick, uh, quick tutorial on this. Uh, on the left hand side we have the case explorer and details panel. Uh, this will show you all of the items that you have added to your case. Uh, that includes uh, locations, devices, and sources. And also, you will be able to view any of your case or incident information that you enter. Uh, also, the case summary tab then uh, is an overview of everything that you've entered for your case. So uh, to make associations, the first thing we need to do is add items to our case. Uh, in this uh, example, uh, we can either add uh, sources, details, or locations from the Case Explorer panel, or we can come up to the Case tab and select to add location, add device, or add source from here. Either way, it makes no difference. It's, it does the same thing. Uh, if you select to add them from the uh, icons at the top, they actually open up a individual add location screen or a add device screen versus if you choose to add a location or a device from the case explorer panel it simply opens up a line item and allows you to add the device that way and then you can enter the information for that device down in the device details panel so i'm going to go ahead and uh, quickly i'm going to add uh, a bunch of devices i'm going to add two three devices i'm going to add three locations and I'm going to add three sources. So without having to fill anything in, we can easily come in here and add. And we can spell right if we want to. No, uh, no requirements that you have to spell right. And we're going to add the third location. And then I'm going to come in here and start adding my sources. Uh, I picked some sources that are really quick scans. Obviously, if you have a very large hard drive uh, with a bunch of data on it, your images uh, or physical disk is not going to scan um, this quick. But for the purposes of this webinar, um, we'll, we're going to scan uh, three really quick uh, sources that don't contain a lot of image files, a lot of uh, video files. Oops, I didn't want to do that. We're going to add another source. So as we add the source, you can now see in the Case Explorer panel, we have our devices, one, two, three, location, one, two, three. Uh, as soon as this uh, scans, I'm going to delete that other location. Since we don't need it to delete a location or to delete any items from the Case Explorer panel, you can simply uh, highlight it, click it, right click it and go delete. And that will delete that item from the Case Explorer panel. So we're almost ready to go. We've got one more source to add. And as soon as we get this added, I'll start making associations and show you how that's done. Uh, you can see right off the bat, um, by right clicking the case name and selecting to add all of our devices, sources, or locations, we've added every single thing directly under that case file, meaning that these are all perfectly vertically aligned. Uh, this means that there are zero associations, and that there are no uh, sources associated with a device, no devices associated with a location. And you can, again, you can tell because these are all vertically lined up underneath each other. 
So in, in order to start making associations, it is really, really simple. Um, the, the, the first way to do it is via the Case Explorer panel. And we can come up here and we can start moving things around. Um, just for simplicity, I'm going to put all the locations at the top. And I'm doing that just by clicking and dragging uh, the different devices. Um, I'm going to name these all also uh, source, source 1, Source 2, and Source 3, just to make it easy. OK. So now we've got our three locations, three devices, and three sources. Again, they're all vertically aligned, meaning that there are no associations made with any of these items. If I know that source one came out of device one, a uh, device being the DVR itself, the source being the image file or the physical disk that came out of the hard drive. If I know it came from device one and I want to make that association, I simply click and drag source one over device one until it says drop in device one, and then I let go of the mouse button and now you can see that source one is indented under device one and this means that there is an association that has been made um, source one is now associated with device one if i want to associate device one with location one meaning that this dvr came from this location i do the exact same thing i simply click hold and drag device one underneath or uh, over location one until it says drop in location one and I let go of the mouse button and now you can see I have location one device one and source one and because they are indented like this that means that they're they are associated source one is now associated with device one device one is now associated with location one and by extension source one is uh, associated with location one same, we can do the same thing for all of them. It's really, really, again, quick and simple. Just drag and drop. And now we have uh, the location two, device two and source two associated. And we can do the same thing with location three, device three and source three. So in this example, we have three different locations, three different devices and three different sources, and they're all associated uh, to uh, one other item. Uh, there may be instances in which you have multiple hard drives in a particular DVR. Uh, if that's the case, you can always add multiple sources under a device. If, you, if I want to add source 3 under device 2, I take source 3 and drag it until it says drop in device 2. And now you can see that I've got both of my source 2 and source 3 associated with device 2, meaning that they both came from that device and, and then from that location. So th this is a very easy way to organize and to manage all the items in your case, uh, especially if you have multiple locations, multiple devices, and multiple sources. Uh, this is the easiest and fastest ways to make associations. Um, again, I want to emphasize to you guys that making associations is not going to make exporting your clips any faster. It's not going to get you your, your evidence any faster. It is simply a way to, to manage your data uh, so when you or if you have to revisit this case, you know that that a particular source came from, from a particular device, which was associated with a particular location. You can still highlight one source and select export without doing any sort of associations. You don't have to add devices. You don't have to add locations. You can simply add your source, select all to export. If that's your workflow, you can you can surely do that and you're going to get your data just just fine. Um, again, this is just for case management and allows you to manage all of the items within your case. And eventually, when we uh, improve our reporting, all of this information will be included in some nicely generated reports that will outline uh, all of the items in your case. So uh, I showed you how to make associations via the Case Explorer panel uh, by simply adding items directly to the Case Explorer panel. Uh, you can also make associations when you specifically add a location, a device, or a source from the case tab here. So I'm going to go ahead and add a device and show you. When I click add a device, we're going to name this device four. And if you look down at the bottom here, there is an associate with location uh, option. So 
If I want to immediately associate this device with the location as I'm entering the information, I can come down here and select either location one, two, or three that I've entered, or I can actually go ahead and just actually and create a new location from here, and this will open up the add location screen. I'm gonna go ahead and add this to device two or to location two, and when I click save, you'll see that uh, device four has now been uh, associated and placed underneath location two, meaning that there is an association. Uh, the same thing applies to when you add a source. If I come in here and I add a source to, a, uh, to my case, under the source details here, as soon as this detects, uh, you can click the edit under source details and you can make an association with the device or a, or a location. Uh, if you make an association, for instance, I'm going to make this an association with device two again, um, you're not going to be able to select the location because by default, um, they're, um, they're inherent. So uh, if I s select the device uh, to associate with um, device two to associate the source with, it's automatically going to be associated with location two because it's already the, the association has already been made. So I'm not gonna be able to select both device and location, but I can select one or the other. And it will create that association for you immediately as soon as the scan is done. I'm not gonna go ahead and complete this scan because this, this, this scan actually takes a little bit of time. So we're gonna close out of that. So that that is basically in a nutshell how you make associations um, either from the Case Explorer panel or from um, the case tabs icons at the top when you uh, first add the location or the device. Associations are very easy to modify or, um, or delete. Uh, for instance, if I no longer want to associate device one with location one, I simply, again, I click and drag device one. So instead of saying drop in location one, now I can either wait till it says drop after location one or drop before location one and now this means that that device is no longer associated with that source or with that location and i can do the same thing with every single item i have i can remove all the associations by by clicking them and dragging them uh, before or after the other item that they were associated with so as you can see here now, I've pretty much reverted back to the way it was. All of our items, including devices, sources, and locations are vertically aligned, meaning that no associations are made. Uh, I, I hope that helped. Uh, again, the, the biggest thing to get out of this is that associations are not needed to export your data. Associations are available to help you manage your case and to manage all the items in your case. And again, this is particularly helpful when you have a really large uh, uh, crime scene, for instance, and there are multiple locations that have cameras, there are multiple devices in those locations, and uh, perhaps uh, those DVRs have multiple hard drives within the DVRs. Now, in DVR Examiner 3, you can input all of that information, make all the associations that you need, so when you come back to this case or uh, when you need to reman it, manage this case in the future, you know uh, where all these items and devices and everything came from. So again, uh, that's that's associations in a nutshell. It, it's not um, it's not difficult. it's uh, but it's very, very helpful, again, especially if you have multiple items uh, in your case. Um, does anybody have any questions? Uh, I, I mentioned this was going to be a quick uh, webinar, and we're right about fifteen minutes. so, I think we'll go ahead and uh, close it up there uh, and then open it up to questions. Uh, if anybody has any questions, please type those in the Q&A and we'll get those answered. Uh, we'll give uh, about 30 seconds or so to type in an answer or a question. Uh, if not, we'll wrap this puppy up. Okay, uh, well, again, uh, thank you for joining this webinar. Uh, keep a lookout on dmeforensics.com for additional feature-focused webinars and getting started webinars. Uh, this uh, associations video will be available also on dmeforensics.com uh, either this afternoon or tomorrow morning. So again, thank you, every thank you everybody for joining. Uh, stay safe and have a great day.